Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video. And um, I'm sitting here chilling. Since ain't no basketball till Wednesday night, I want to come up. I'm going to come up with another topic. And I'm not throwing no hate on Brian, but let's just tell the truth. All right? Well, let's get started. You know what I'm tired of, man? I'm really tired of people bitching and crying about how KD went to the Warriors, right? I'm getting sick and tired of hearing about how about Draymond, Clay, um, going after and Steph going after KD, right? Now, mind you, Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green has played together for ten years. Okay. They didn't jump the fence. They didn't do none of that shit. But yet, every time you turn around, all you hear on YouTube is niggas crying about this shit. But you know what the problem is, the real problem? And let's talk about it. And um, I'm going to talk about Brian. If you don't want to hear about Brian, please unsubscribe. Please go somewhere and and, and, and get and just, just tell why we just can't tell the fucking truth. Okay, everybody got a problem with KD. Okay, let me ask y'all a question. You lost the finals to LeBron. Harrison Barnes had a horrible 2016 NBA Finals. Am I correct? KD wants to go join, wants to go join them. What the fuck you gonna do? You gonna tell them no? You know what I'm saying? What what I mean, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Y'all talk about Steph, right? But Steph been loyal to one team. And KD wanted to go join them, right? What you going to... Okay, let me ask you a question. You trying to win a championship, okay? And KD comes to you and say, look, I want to join you. You going to tell him no? So you think... So you call him... You call him Steph Weak, right? Let me ask you a question. If KD wanted to join the Cavaliers in 2016... You think Brian would have turned them down? Huh? Brian didn't Brian wouldn't have turned them down either. But here comes the double standard, yet Brian tried to recruit KD to come to the Warriors. Oh my bad. LeBron tried to um, recruit KD to come to the Lakers. Don't nobody say nothing about that though, right? And I love LeBron, which I've made a few videos getting him props. But let's tell the truth. You you bitch and cry about how KD joined the Warriors, right? Yet LeBron James joined two players with Chris Bosch and Dwayne Wade in their prime. He joined Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love in their prime, correct? He joined Anthony Davis in their prime. Am I correct? But don't nobody say shit about that. But yeah, every day you turn around, it's the same. It's a double standard. It's hypocrisy. It's the same shit. But you bitch and cry about Steph and, 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 and Steph and Draymond and Clay. When the Jordan State Warriors was built through the draft, all they did was just sign Kevin Durant. But then here's the double standard to this. So if you can't, and I told this in another video the other day. I said this in another video the other day. You can't win a championship by yourself. Kevin Durant said, you know what? I'm going to put my ego aside. I'm going to put my pride aside because I want to win. Yet people still bitch and cry. So either way, because let's say he'd been loyal to OKC. Tell me if I'm lying. If he would have stayed and then win shit, motherfuckers be bitching about that, right? That's why bitch people bitching right now because he did he ain't won shit in Brooklyn, right? But see, he went to Golden State. All that pressure, and KD delivered, and niggas still crying, still crying. But don't nobody say shit about Brian. You know what I mean? You ain't super team Brian and stacked. 
How many, how many times he stacked the deck? But don't nobody say shit about that. But all you want to talk about is KD. All you want to talk about is Steph. Steph thinks this. Steph ain't that. You know, and I'm going to ask y'all a question. Why y'all hate on Steph so bad? Because Steph Curry, what? He beat LeBron three times? Y'all just can't let that go, can you? That's the real reason why people hate on Draymond Green, right? Am I correct? I don't understand it. And I know Draymond can be a loud mouth, but you can't take his defense, you can't take his basketball IQ away from him. Because without, and it, and it goes to show you, without Draymond's passing and without his defense, the Warriors struggled this season. Am I correct? They lost like four or five games in a row without Draymond. Am I correct? But everybody's around here talking about that he's a scrub, right? Talk to me. You cry and complain about Steph. Clay and, 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 and Draymond's getting KD. But yet LeBron could do whatever the hell he want to do. And don't nobody say nothing. And you and I mean I, I am not hating on him. But you couldn't beat Boston, so you go join two people? You go join the the, the you had the, Top two players and they primes playing on the same team. That that's not competitive. Come on, man, y'all y'all some hypocrites. Brian can do whatever he and I don't hate I don't hate that man. I got much respect for Brian, but Brian can do what the hell he want to do. Don't nobody say shit. But when when when, when Steph do it, it's a problem because Steph because Steph kind of hurt LeBron legacy. Because think about it. You add those three trips to the one. He would have had seven championships right now. Why do you think Brian secretly, let's just keep it real. And I love Brian. So don't come in here and say I'm a hater, right? But why do you think low-key Brian don't want Steph to get that fourth ring? Because they go to show you if, if Steph win this ring this year, he ain't super team nothing. They were a team full of injury play, injured players, D-leaguers, and rookies, and he won with that. But y'all sit around, continue to hate. You continue to sit around and hate on the, the, the Golden State Warriors. I just don't understand why do y'all hate this team so bad? They getting it out the mud. You cried about KD, right? He's gone. They're in the finals without him. Am I correct? It's easy work, man. It's easy work. And I'm gonna get off the subject real quick. And you know, since we since we love drama and confusion, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna end this video with a bang. Okay. Let's get back on Mr. Christopher, right? Mr. Christopher. Because if let me be honest, if I don't talk about people, nobody watches. So please shut up with that. Oh, he's clock chasing. Before I get started. So now I'm going to get started on him, right? But um, I was listening to somebody last night. I ain't calling any names, but y'all know who I'm talking about. He was talking about how Draymond is a scrub. Draymond ain't this. Let me ask you a question. Let's compare Draymond career with the hater. Okay, let's ask the, the hater a question. Has the hater ever won a Big Ten title? Huh? Has has the hater ever played? Has he ever ever been in an NBA mini camp? Has he have the hater ever been played in a preseason NBA game? See it on video. I want to see that. Has the hater ever played in a regular season game? Am I correct? Has the hater played in four All Star games? Tell me from mine. Has the hater ever played in a playoff game? I would love to see it. Has the hater ever played in the NBA Finals? Has the hater ever won a championship? Come on, man. Why people? Why the, why the hater hating on Draymond Green? Why are you hating on Draymond Green? He can be a loud mouth, but he was a major piece 
to 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 a, to a dynasty. They won three championships in the last four years. And I don't want to hear that they stopped the debt. Okay, many teams stopped the debt. But just because you stopped the debt doesn't mean it's going to work. You hating on Draymond Green. Draymond Green, what? Psst, got a house in Malibu. Draymond Green got a $100, $100 million contract. Dre got a nice family. Dre living good. But what is the hater doing? The hater every day is up here bashing and bashing and bashing. The hater is up here begging for begging for money. Draymond Green ain't out here begging for money. I understand it. Draymond Green, they struggled without Draymond Green this season. Am I correct? I watch every Warrior game. I haven't missed a Warrior game in about three or four years, honestly. I watch them every time I play. Every time they come on, I watch. They struggled. They lost six, like five games in a row this season. When they was on that road trip, they struggled without Draymond Green. So what is everybody talking about that this man is a scrub? So what? He doesn't score. Dennis Rodman didn't score. But yet, he get a pass for that. But Draymond Green don't score. It's a problem. It's a problem. I just don't understand why you guys continue to hate. Because he took they 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 beat because they beat Brian back to back. He beat what three out of the last four years. The Golden State Warriors beat LeBron James team, cap the Cavaliers. Am I correct? Every championship they ever won was against Cleveland. Huh? Because that's a dark spot on his on LeBron James resume, right? Yet you continue to hate. I don't understand why this hater, the hater, hates on Draymond Green. He's three times big. He's six ten, and you can't make an NBA roster. What that say about you, bro? Draymond Green lives in the United States. The hater lives in a third world country. But you around here screaming like you, like 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 you the Don or something. Cause you got, cause you what? Cause you, you, you taking your money from super chats, and we all know. And I'm gonna say this again: money overseas, our money overseas, has more value. So of course you can live like a king in a third world poor country, but you around here dissing Draymond Green, right? Draymond Green ain't got to run, ain't ain't got to run, ain't got to run nowhere. Talk all you want to talk. But it's the double standard that I see that LeBron James can go everywhere and, mess and, 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 and make all these stacked teams. But when Steph did it one time, it's a problem. And LeBron James, and I love him, don't get me wrong. And LeBron James has yet to prove that he can he can win without without a major superstar. Because Steph, Clay ain't not really 100%. Draymond is not a real scorer. It was, when they came into this season, it was a lot of unknown. This they was un, they didn't think they was gonna get to the finals that quick. They're proving they when they can win on their own, and people still crying about Golden State. Y'all just sitting back waiting on them to fail, but LeBron can do what he want to do, and don't nobody say nothing. He's man, he's the goat. And I'm not taking away from he's a great player. But why he can go stop teams, don't nobody say nothing. But yet, when Steph do it, it's a problem. He only did it one time. <laughs> the hater, the hater, it's sad, man. Sad. Why can't the hater, if he's such a big, tough man, why don't you move to the United States? I know that y'all tired of talking about it, but hey, let's keep it real. That's the only way people are gonna listen. I can't do regular stuff without without talking about people. So let's talk, right? Why he can't live in the United States? But he this big, he this big tough guy. You Nikki, you you want to play Nikki Barnes on YouTube, right? You the Nikki Barnes of basketball. But yet you can't move to the United States. I question him to move to the United States because he know he he ain't gonna be able to get away with all this BS that he do. 
Tired of everybody hating. Why y'all hating on Draymond Green? He a scrub, but he living in Malibu. Draymond Green got his own podcast. Draymond Green is success. What are you? You're an NBA reject who never made the NBA. But you got a nerve to sit around and talk about Draymond Green? People that live in glass houses shouldn't throw bricks. Huh? You can you, you never smelt the NBA arena. You never smelt the NBA NBA um jersey. You got nerve to talk about Draymond Green a scrub? Scrub, he played with 10 years in the NBA. Four four four-time all-star. Defensive player of the year, four-time all-defense, three-time champ, been the final six times. That that's that's a scrub. That's a that's a scrub. Major part of a dynasty that people cried and bitched about because they beat LeBron three times, right? Y'all just need to start hating on the Golden State Warriors. And they win this championship this year, ain't shit nobody can say. They won, they went to the finals without KD and niggas still crying. What else y'all want this team to do? Cause y'all a bunch of haters, man. Haters on YouTube. He a scrub. 